today we're going to be covering integrating CRM with IDX Broker. My name is Brian Peterson and I work on the IDX Broker support staff and I'll be leading this presentation. I'm joined by Matt Reynolds, who is a co-worker of mine and he is also on the support team. He will be assisting us today, watching out for questions and monitoring the chat. He's going to be posting a bunch of hyperlinks uh, as we go through this. This particular webinar is going to have a lot of external links going on because we're talking about some third-party integrations to help us. So we're just going to be going over a couple of different ways you can integrate specifically with your CRM in relation to lead data. So let's go ahead and get started. i also let you know that this is being recorded. And we will be fielding questions at the end, mostly. Uh, you're more than welcome to ask questions as we go through it. But at the end, we'll definitely set aside some time to address any questions. So yeah, let's get started. So today, we're just going to be reviewing some information about CRMs and why they're important. We're also going to be reviewing the CRM integration via email and email parsing. bulk of this webinar is going to be talking about an application called Zapier. And finally, we'll cover briefly CRM integration via API. Why use a CRM? A CRM gives you the ability to maintain quality relationships with your clients and customers. And with these systems, you can collect and organize all of your lead data about your customers in one central location. And I'm sure many of you already use a CRM. And within these systems, you can maintain contact information, previous interactions that you've had, or maybe like past transactions you've done with a customer. It's just a really good way to follow up with leads, determine when's the last time maybe you emailed them or maybe you called them. And we have here listed a few of them. Follow up boss, Lion Death, Zoho, and IMAX CRM. There are many different CRMs out there. I'm sure if you work under a brokerage, they kind of point you in a certain direction in relation to a CRM. And so the solutions that we're providing you with today, for the most part, should work with any CRM. Um, and then obviously, if you have trouble after today, uh, still getting lead data to sync with your CRM, you are more than welcome to reach out to support with further questions. So the first method we're gonna cover is CRM integration via email. And so this happens with a process that's called email parsing. And what email parsing does is it takes an email, and it runs through the code and extracts the data so that it can be inserted into your CRM. So every time an IDX broker, when a lead signs up, an email is sent out. So what an email parser does is it takes that email, that lead email, which I'm sure some of you have seen using our product, and it'll go through and it'll strip out the phone number, the first name, the email address, so that you can take that data and put it into your CRM. In order to make a email parser work, depending on your CRM, you'll have to look into their documentation for creating a specific email address that works for a parser. So you would go to, let's say you're using Zoho, for instance, you would need to go through the Zoho documentation and they have a space within their application to set up email parsing. Most modern CRMs have this ability, and so you will have to reach out to either their support team or go through their documentation to get the email parser. The specific email address that you're going to get from that goes within the IDX dashboard. And so if you're logged in to your IDX account, on the left-hand side, you want to navigate to Design, Settings, Global. And then at the tab there, you want to select Email Settings. And on this page, there's two specific fields that you're looking for. The first one, has to do with which email template that you're using. And you're gonna to wanna to use the legacy template. The new email template does not work with email parsing at this time. And then towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see a seal, a field for BC or CC. And so you'll be able to send a carbon copy to the email parsing email address that's provided by your CRM. Using Zapier is actually a lot quicker. So we're gonna move on to the Zapier. And the advantage with Zapier is that you're able to send data both ways. So if you create a lead with an IDX broker dashboard, that data ends up in your CRM. And vice versa, if you create data within your CRM, that lead, if it doesn't already exist in the IDX dashboard, will get created over there. 
So it's a two-way street. And so if Matt hasn't already, uh, he would go ahead and drop a link to Zapier.com. And here you can create an account. It is free. They have a free version. So if you're just trying to hook up IDX Broker to your CRM, you can create a free account and get started. And so what Zapier is, Zapier is an online automation tool and it connects apps and services together to send data. Uh, that way you don't have to hire a developer uh, to dig through the API and create a connection so that two apps can talk to each other. And so Zapier has thousands of applications available to connect to. And so you're able to <clears throat> create what are called zaps, uh, workflows that connect your apps together so they can talk to one another. And in this example, again, we're connecting IDX Broker to a CRM. So next, we're going to go over some Zapier terminology. And Matt is going to go ahead and post a link to the terminology. And so what a Zap is, I kind of described this already, a Zap is an automated workflow, just a simple terminology for connecting two web apps together. And so when you turn a Zap on, it will run an action step every time the trigger event occurs. And so an app, we all know what an app is. It's a web service or application, uh, such as a CRM, Google Docs, maybe Slack, or Salesforce. And Zapier offers integration with over 2,000 apps. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use Zapier to enhance your business. And so a trigger event starts in Zap. So for instance, if you wanted to trigger an instance of when a lead is created in IDX Broker, it would trigger an event to send a text message. Or if a lead was created in IDX Broker, you could trigger an event to create a contact within your CRM. And next, we have syncing interval. This is just the interval at which Zapier is checking for new leads. Um, on the free version, the syncing interval is 15 minutes. And then if you upgrade the plan, you can, I think it's five minutes. So uh, email that are sent out when a property update happens or when a lead sign up, uh, Zapier will check for that every five minutes. And so action. Uh, action is just the event that the Zap performs after it's triggered. So the action of creating an account or a contact within a CRM. Uh, and then filters. Filters can be added to any Zap to restrict to run only when certain conditions are met. So you can filter. You can filter out actions that are happening that you don't want it to fire on. And again, Matt has posted these terminology. You can look through them. So next, we're going to go through what it looks like to set up a Zap. And so after you've created an account within Zapier, you will see a plus sign in the upper left-hand screen. And if you select that, the next screen that pops up is choosing a trigger event. And so you'll be able to search for an app event. And within Zapier, this is called IDX Leads. And so after you selected IDX Leads, you're going to, the trigger event you're going to have is the new lead. So every time a lead signs up, it will trigger this action. And after this, it will ask for your API key to Zapier. And you can find this within the IDX Broker dashboard. On the left-hand side, if you go to Home and then Access, you will see a tab for the API key, and you can drop this in. Very similar to when you set up your Impress widget. This is a screen where you're dropping in your API key. You click and continue and continue. This application is very much a point and click which is why it makes it so easy. And next, you're setting up the other end of the Zap. And so when you go to choose that, you can choose a CRM, this is Zoho or LionDesk. You can also choose Google Contacts. So for this example, I'm just gonna create a Google Contact every time a lead signs up an IDX broker. And so I'm choosing the app Google Contacts and the action is going to be to create a contact. And so depending on what app you choose, they will have different action events that you can select. And then you can map the fields. So the fields coming out of IDX Broker need to be pointed to the field from whichever application you're sending the data to. So for Google Contact, 
I'm obviously mapping first name to first name, last name to last name, and email to email. And depending on which app you're connecting this app to, it will provide different fields for which you can map from the IDX broker lead. And as you go through the setup, you'll be able to see test data. This is the data that's coming out of IDX broker. And finally, when you get back to the home screen, you will see that the app has been created. And you can always switch to these on and off. And you can also set up multiple apps. So every time a lead is created, you can create a app for your CRM to be added. You can also set up an additional app to have it send you an email to your Gmail account or maybe to your office manager. So you can set up multiple apps to have multiple actions happen when an IDX broker lead has signed up. You can also use CRM that are already using the IDX broker API endpoint. And so if you didn't want to do email parsing or you didn't feel comfortable setting up a ZAP and you don't have a CRM, IMAX CRM uses our API. So when you sign up for that CRM, all you'd have to do is drop in the IDX broker API key directly into their application. What Matt is going to do is also going to drop in a link to his webinar that he did recently, which is on lead management. And what that webinar covers is just generating leads in the first place. So if you have questions about generating leads or capturing them, that you can send them to your CRM, Matt's going to provide that information. And of course, you can always reach out to the support team. Here's a snapshot of the different ways that you can do that, as well as our hours. And so now we're going to field some questions. Let me see what you guys got going on. Do you guys have any questions? So I just got one here. It says, which of the three is the best? Email parsing, Zapier, direct API. It really depends on your use case, which one is the best. If you already have a CRM, I highly recommend using Zapier. If you already have a CRM that's being paid for, if you already have your lead data already in a CRM, I recommend going the Xavier route. If you don't have a CRM and you're kind of curious about shopping around, I highly recommend checking out IMAX CRM just because they have a direct API connection and you will be able to see more in-depth lead information like traffic and property saved and searches saved. So yes, um, the email parsing is a viable option. It just can be a little more technical. If you're working with a web developer and they're comfortable with email parsing or you've done email parsing before, I would do that. So I guess to answer the question more directly, Zapier is the go-to option. If you don't have a CRM, I recommend looking into IMAX. And then last would be the email parsing. As far as the the follow-up video that will follow this will be available on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel for IDX Broker, and there's a section there specifically for webinars. The name of that CRM is IMAX CRM. I'm reading some other questions. Uh, someone asked, uh, does the direct API work with Go High Level? There are only two CRMs that I know of that have developed a direct API connection, and that is IMAX. CRM and Leader CRM. Recently, Leader CRM's website was down, so I'm unsure about that one. Again, IMAX CRM is the only one that has a direct API connection. So if you're curious, again, I would go into Zapier and see if you can find your CRM in their application list. That was probably the best way to connect. Someone asked, when I set up someone on search through IDX Broker, is there an integration with follow up off? So the integration is what we just covered. So your searches would be saved in IDX Broker, but follow-up box would be able to get the information regarding the contact information. So I'm not sure exactly the, there's probably more in depth to that question. But when we're talking about integrating into the CRM, unless you have a direct connection with IMAX, the only information available is contact information, like first name, last name, email, and phone number. You still have to have all the property saved and uh, their search parameters and et cetera would still be maintained in the IDX broker side. Someone asked, is there any other options besides IMAX for smaller companies? 
there are many different options and price ranges for CRMs. So I recommend just shopping around for CRM, making sure that it's on the Zapier website, Very and then sure. making the connection that way. Zapier connects with many different CRMs. Someone asked where they find the API key to connect to Zapier. Each IDX broker account comes with an API key. So if you're logged into your IDX dashboard, again on the left-hand side, under Home, Access Control, there's a tab for the API key, and then you will see the key there. That is what we got today. We will have this recorded and posted on our YouTube channel. If there is a question that you asked that I didn't cover here at the end, we will get back to you via email. And I hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for joining us. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.